This week, we're in Pilrig, a quiet residential area near Edinburgh city centre. Now, it all seems rather normal, but for one local man last year, it became the scene of a remarkable encounter. One right, that he would never forget. Excuse me, we're, we're filming at the moment. I am. I'm Daryl. Oh, Darryl Whiteley. Oh, oh, hi. Pleased to meet you. Ewan Hermiston. Aye, I ken who you are, likes. I used to watch you on that Win a Fortune before you had your... Aye. Aye, you were good. Thank you. Not as good as that, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should get it, likes. You just coming up, aye? I uh, know, we just need to redo this scene again. Do you want me to be in it? I can... No, you're fine, you're fine. We'll be up in a few minutes, hey, okay? Cheers. Thank All you. All right, so. then. Okay, we'll go again. Okay, Daryl, we're going to take this nice and easy. I've got a series of questions here that will prompt discussion, okay? See the whole prostitute thing? Listen, I don't talk about that anymore, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. Did you ken she was a man, but? Tell us about your encounter, Daryl. Talk us through it. It was pretty much a typical Thursday. I had a back shift at Morrison's and cut through the path. As I walked into the car park, I felt this sort of calmness come over me. That's when I saw him. Who did you see? It was Budgie. My pigeon. I got when I was 12. At the time I thought he was a Budgie, so I called him Budgie. And we got on like a house and fiery, and it was fantastic. At the same time, my dad ordered me to join the cadets. I didn't want to join the cadets, it wasn't my thing. When my dad found this out, he went berserk. Absolutely nuts, he got his rifle. Pointed at a budget, if you don't go, I'll shoot him. I swear to God, I'll shoot him. I says, I'll go, I'll go. Then he downed his hip flask, laughed and... Just shot him anyway. Did Budgie die? Of course he died, it was point blank range. So, years later, you're in the car park and you see your dead pigeon. Yes! Okay, listen guys, guys, can we, can we just, five minutes, cut please, just cut. Listen Daryl. Even by our standards, this is just too far-fetched. It was him. He, he was wearing his tag. Well, lots of pigeons wear tags. But he hovered, Ian. You and He hovered and he vanished. Well, maybe he just flew away. He didn't fly away. Did anyone else see him? Well, no, I was the only one there. Oh, well, this is what I mean, Daryl. It's just... It just sounds ridiculous. Do you get what I think's ridiculous, right? Picking up a prosy, pumping him in your car, and denying you knew he was a prosy. <laughs> it's alright to be gay, Ian. Ewan! My name's Ewan. I didn't know she was a man. I didn't know she was a prostitute. I lost everything. I lost my wife. My wife left me. I lost my house. I lost my job. My friends. I'm all over the papers. I lost everything. Everything! But it's alright, mate. You know, uh, <laughs> I know what it's like to have no one believe you. Right? Shanice left me. Like Morrison sacked me. Twelve years of meeting fish, gone, gone like that. But you know what? You you get up. You get up and you carry on. Show yourself. Show yourself, son. Come on, Budgie. Come 
Shanice! Shanice! 